Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and you might have seen the news last week about this rare lineup of planets. They said that you could see five planets all in a row and they were really hyping it up and saying oh if you don't see it this week we won't be seeing it again for another 200 years. We'll all be dead by the time it all happens again. Well, I just want to say that they do hype things up a little bit. And yes, last week there was a rare lineup of planets. I'm just on the program called Stellarium now. I'll give you a link to this program. It's really, really good for finding out what's going on in the sky, what you can see at any time and at any point on the Earth. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, I've gone back to the 25th of last week because what happened was. There was a lineup of planets, and that was, if I just forward this on now, I'll just fast forward this um, screen. So, can you see there, we're looking towards the east, sort of east northeast. Now, it's about nine minutes past three in the morning, so it's pretty early. You have to be out early to see this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the time. And we can see the moon there as well. That's a waning crescent moon down there. This is what we got to see last week. Well, I didn't because I didn't get to see it because it was too cloudy where I was. But some people were lucky enough. My friend Maria was very lucky enough to see this last week. She got to see not pollutant clouds as well. So, if you're watching Maria, very well done. I'm so pleased that you got to see them. Anyway, I'm just moving the time along now. And this is what you could have seen last week on about, I think, about the 25th of june so as you can see now as we look towards the sort of east northeast you can see the moon's rising there as we get towards half past three you can see venus there following it and we should be able to see although i can't oh there, there's mercury can you see mercury there now this is this is what they were talking about so we've got mercury can you see just rising up there towards the northeast then we've got venus then we've got the i'll just zoom in on that for you it's uh, a waning crescent moon, a very nice waning crescent moon. Can you see that there? I've got this grid on just to give you an idea of how things up. It shows you how high things up are on the left. Can you see 10 degrees, 15, 20. If you look at the side there, you can see how many degrees. Now, if you put your outstretched palm out and turn it round, that's about 10 degrees up. That gives you some idea about how high up these things are at this time. And over here, we can see Mars... These are more prominent, of course, Mars and Jupiter. These are much higher up, as you can see. Jupiter is very bright. Mars is quite easy to see. And over here, more towards the south, we've got Saturn. And this is the lineup that they were talking about last week. We've got five planets, all visible at that time. The only problem is, is that, as you can see, it's getting very bright over here towards the northeast, and that's because the sun's rising. So there wasn't really a whole lot of time to see this. Now, if I fast forward this now, you can see, look what happens. The sun rises. Look, the sun is up and the sky, well, we're into daytime then, aren't we? Can you see now? You can, you know, you could, everything's just going to disappear, isn't it? But, but you don't need to worry too much about this if you didn't see it, because we can see this for, I would say, right into july and into august the only thing we're not going to see is probably mercury because i think mercury is going to swing around the other way so if i go onto this date time thing down here can you see if i fast forward that to a month from now and we're at the same time what are we going to see well it's going to look a bit different can you see now we've still got venus and we've got a moon there which is a crescent a, a waning crescent moon and we've got mars up here and we've got Jupiter and we've got Saturn over there. Now, they are a little bit further apart, but they're all there apart from Mercury. If I turn the horizon line off now, watch this now. You can do this with slow. I'll turn the horizon. Can you see Mercury's actually swung around the other side of the sun? So the only thing is, in, in about six weeks, is that Mercury is not going to be visible. So it's not going to be five planets. And another thing about Mercury is that it's a little bit difficult to spot Mercury if you haven't got binoculars. Now, I do believe that Mer Maria saw Mercury. She told me she saw it. It is a very difficult to spot. It, it's quite a good challenge to spot Mercury. But unfortunately, it's going to swing around the other side of the sun. So all I'm saying in this video is that you can see this lineup of planets if you're prepared to go out fairly early in the morning now i have fast forwarded this to what what it's it's the 25th of july and and 
and I think we've got a bit more time as well. You don't need to be up stupidly early. You can you can probably get up a little bit later and you can see them because the sunrise will be a bit later on, as you can see here. So I think that you can see this lineup of planets, four bright pla well, four bright planets right up into August. When we get towards late August, I think they're probably going to spread out a bit too much and you might not be able to see them all at once. Venus might, might end up swinging around the other side of the sun. I don't know. But all I want to say is that if you want to see this lineup of planets, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, you can see them right into August. And if you time them with a waning crescent moon, that would be even better. As you can see there, we've got a waning crescent moon there on the 25th of July. So around the 24th, 25th and 26th, you get a nice moon in the sky there at the same time. So there you go. That's all I wanted to say in this video. I just wanted to show you that if you did see that on the news, not to worry. And you can see this amazing lineup of planets right up through July and even into August. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one.